Jim Angel will take care of you. I have the 24 depressurized the cabin to ambient altitude, which is 127,800 feet. The door will open when you reach ambient altitude of 128,000 feet. The door has opened. Roll the door open. The and door has the opened. Door stop, Felix. Slide the seat forward. Okay, slide forward into the rest position. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie down strap. Start the cameras, and our guardian angel will take care of you. It's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. A high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. Said something. Get Family applauding, but you can see by the little dot that he's in controlled descent. In the free fall. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead.
Crazy bastard. Yeah, we have unofficial word there on some of those those statistics. It was a four minute and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control. Four minute mission control and twenty two second thousand feet in descending drop in free fall, so that would not break the Kittinger record for that would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. Council there you have it. Aerospace history has been made today. Austrian pilot and parachutist Felix Baumgartner has done it. Made Red Bull Stratus mission to the edge of space a part of the record books. So we're still awaiting final confirmation, but unofficially, new world records have been set for the 
highest free fall ever, the fastest free fall ever, as well as the highest ever manned balloon flight. And today was also a big win for science, as the Red Bull Stratos team collected valuable data that could ultimately help improve the safety of space travel and enable high-altitude emergency bailouts from spacecraft.